Hi, so in this video I'll show you how you can use the um, use Java to sort a um, CSV file. And we're going to load this simple CSV file that's over here. Um, as you can see right now, uh, the first one, so a CSV file just split with a comma. Uh, this one has an, uh, you know, an ID, we're going to ignore that in this case and I'll show you how we can do that. And then the second and the third column are actually the ones we're interested in. This is the first name and the last name or the surname. Uh, we're going to use this to create a, an instance of a name where we can include both of them, or we can create a person uh, with a name. We can then use the comparable interface in Java to uh, to sort these people uh, in a way that actually matters because this is just all over the place. So I'm just going to start by creating a new project. I'm just going to create an empty one. I'm going to create a command line app because it gives me the main method from the beginning. And we'll just call it CSV sorting CS, CSV files. Boom. So at this point, what we want to do is I'm just going to move this into our project. There we go. And next up is that we want to actually read this file. So how do we do that? Well, we have some different options. Um, I prefer using a buffer reader, so I'm just going to show you that, but you're free to explore whatever you want to do here. Uh, we can look it up. <laughs> uh, also, this um, CSV files uh, I found on Git, uh, GitHub. I'll put a link in, into the, in the description where you can find it so you can download it yourself. Um, so let's just create a new instance of the buffer reader. It's called BR. We'll, of course, uh, import it and create a new instance of buffer reader. So the buffered reader takes, uh, for example, an instance of the file reader. So we'll create a new file reader instance, and then we'll pass it the path to our names in CSV. Since it's in the root, since it's in the root of the project, we can just say name CSV, and this should work. So in the right now, it's complaining because it wants us. Oh, it's uh, we want it to handle a possible exception in case this is not found. What we can go ahead and do is we can add it to the method signature and just ignore it for now. So right now we've loaded this file into the buffer reader, but how do we actually go through it? Well, what I like to do is I like to create a new string and call it current line, where we iterate over the different lines uh, sequentially, uh, and then we can kind of import into a file. So right now we're just creating uh, or reading the current line, um, and then we want to use the buffer reader to uh, to read it. So we create a while loop, um, and what we want to do is we want to say while uh, the buffered reader still has lines left, we want to keep iterating over it. So the buffered reader has a, a method called readLine where you can read it. This one in, uh, returns a string, so we can actually already here, we can put this over into the current line, like so. So now the problem becomes that we also have to check for condition because this is just assigning a value to this uh, string. So we can just put a parenthesis uh, around this and say as long as it's not null, we want to keep iterating over this uh, over this buffered reader instance. So right now it's also complaining that uh, we're not handling a possible error. And what we can do is we can add it to the uh, method signature and it'll, it'll change to an IO exceptions. Okay, so at this point we have the current line in the file. So how do we actually go ahead and use that for something useful? Well, if we go to the source directory here, I'm just going to create a new object and we're going to create a, a, a class, sorry, we're creating a person class and this person has a first name and a last name. So if you're using um, IntelliJ, you can press Alt Insert, I'm not sure what the command is on Mac, and then you can get it to um, generate a constructor for you. So we'll just use that, and voila, we have a constructor. Perfect. So what we can do now is we can start to actually read uh, read the CSV file. Like I said earlier, the first one we actually don't want to deal with because this is just the headers of the CSV file. Um, so what we can see here is that the first one is identified with an empty, uh, an empty quote here. Um, whereas the other ones actually have some kind of number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if, oh sorry, actually first we have to split the CSV file. So that's pretty easy in, in uh, Java luckily. So we can say string and create an array and we'll say uh, detailed 
And then we'll say take the current line and we'll split it. Where do we want to split it? Well, we want to split it uh, by the comma. Uh, and we're just going to say this. And there we go. All right. So what we want to do now is uh, we want to skip the first line. So what we're going to do is we're going to say detailed. And we want to go for the zeroth index. And why are we going for the zeroth index? Well, that's because this one is the first in the array. Remember, we're splitting it up. So this is going to look like this. And then we're just going to remove this one. Or actually, we're going to not remove it, but we're going to disregard this entire row because it starts with this. So we go back. We're going to say if this one is equal to, then we want to continue. So continue is really handy in these situations where you just want to skip. It just says that, oh, OK, well, if this is the condition, then you should just jump over to the next iteration. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get the first name. And we do that by getting the second uh, second item in the row. So this would be the first column. So we'll do detailed first. Now we're going to have a problem because each of these columns actually include the, the quotes um, in the name. And we don't really care for them. So what we can do instead is we can say we want substring. So substrings cuts off um, either something from the beginning or the end or both. Um, so in this case, I'm going to cut off the first uh, character. So I'm going to start at the second place. And that means, for example, in, in terms of this one, we'll say, OK, we don't actually care about this one. We just want to get this part. Uh, but in practice, we don't actually want the other part as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say we want it to end at the detailed and then We'll say length minus one. And this should then also ignore the last one. So we're only getting this part. And we do this again for the last name. Last name is placed on the third, which is the second in our null indexed array. And we'll do the same again. And we should have the names now. And if we just debug real quick, we should see that this should be working. So if we look up into our array, we'll see that the array looks like this. And you can see that it actually has the quotes, which we don't care for. Um, however, I do see that we have a pr problem because it's actually still including. So this is actually the rookie mistake. What you want to do here is just use the equals method that comes on the object. And then we can compare the actual content instead. Um, anyway, let's see if it works now. We should skip the first one. And there we go. So the first one we see is James Smith. And that's also what we're seeing here. So we put uh, James into first name, like so. And if we hover over here, we'll see that it says James, like so. And the last name, well, you can't see that because it's out of scope. But it looks like it's working. So at this point, we're actually kind of getting there. What I want to do now is I want to add this to a list of names of people. So we'll create an array list of the type person, people, like so. And then we will add the people uh, to the list. And we can do this by just saying add new person. And we create the const constructor. So we'll say first name, last name. And there we go. Now we have a complete list of the people. So if we just go ahead and um, print it, we will see that it's not going to be very pretty formatted. Yeah, so right now it's giving us the object name and it's just going to give us a reference where it's placed in memory, which we don't really care for. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to uh, overwrite the to string method and tell it how it, uh, how it should um, display a person uh, when we are, yeah, when it's casting it's a string. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say first name and last name. And if we run this again, it should actually look pretty. And there we go. James Smith, Michael Smith, Robert Smith, and so on. Okay, so next up is that we actually want to sort this list. And how do we do that? Um, if we do the if we use the collection frameworks uh, sort method, 
uh, on the array list right now, we'll see that it's not going to work. And why is it not working? Well, that's because we're not implementing the um, the comparable interface, like it's complaining here. So it's saying no instance of type variables exist, so that the person conforms to the comparable interface. So we're going to implement this. So real quick, what does the comparable interface actually do? Well, the comparable interface um, is a contract where you explain how to compare two instances uh, uh, with each other. So in this case, we want to compare how uh, two names uh, are like up ordered in terms of each other. So if you have uh, Matthias and Matthew, who goes first? How are you going to do that? Well, that's the thing we have to implement now. So we're going to see a comparable. And we're going to implement the method it's asking for. So the first thing we want to do is the object that it's uh, going to send through here is already it's going to be an instance of person. So we'll say person comparing comparing to. We'll cast the object to person, and then we go got it. Now we want to compare the the names. So what we can use here is actually. Uh, the string already has a compare to method that knows how to separate uh, strings and compare them. So in the case of uh, Matthew and uh, let's just say Matthew L and oh, Matthew A and Matthew B. So in the case when you use uh, Matthew Matthew A compared to Matthew B. So what's going to happen here is that it's going to say, okay, M and M are equal. So there's no difference there. A and A are also equal. No difference. And it's going to keep going until there's a difference between the two. And it's going to say, oh, well, they have a different uh, letter here in the last name. Uh, and in this case, um, B is one away from, um, from, uh, from A. So that means that this one is going to be equal to one, there's one difference between these two. If it was the other way around, then it would be minus one. And that way we know how to order these names. Um, so it's really useful. Uh, so what I'm just gonna do now is I'm gonna say, we have the comparing to the object. So that's what we're gonna compare to. We're gonna say this two string compare to, comparing to the two string because we wanna get the string methods. And then we just want to return it, like so. And just to uh, to get an idea, we'll say difference. Let's get it away into an end. We'll see that this works. And we'll return the difference just so we can actually see what's happening. Now a small typo. I see. There we go. I'm just going to debug so you can actually see what's happening now. But it's now you can see the collections. Uh, the sort method is satisfied, so we should be able to sort it. I'm just going to, like I said, debug it right here so you can see what happens. So the first two names in the in this um, uh, in the CSV file is James Smith and Michael Smith. So it's going to go over the first one that we can see here is James Smith, and the current one. I don't know if you can see this, but it says that this in this is in reference to Michael Smith. So the difference between these two is three. And this is because M uh, is three away from um, from J. So that's a difference. And we think and the sort method then uses that to uh, establish which order to place things in. And we can keep doing this. Then we have Michael Smith comparing to Robert Smith. That's a difference of five. We can keep going. Uh, and then there's the other way around. We can see here with Robert Smith and David Smith. Um, anyway, this is just going to keep going, and if we uh, print it now, we'll see that it's actually sorted. So we have Barbara Anderson, Barbara Brown, Barbara Davis. Um, yeah. So if we're just going to go over everything just one last time, we we'll create the buffer reader where we uh, read the file from the root of the project. We we'll then create an empty array list uh, with the type person. We create, uh, or we um. Uh, we create a variable called current line of the type string, and then we go through each line in the file, split them with the, uh, with the comma, 
we skip the first line in the CSV file, and then we put each of the um, we put the the value in column uh, two and three into this these variables, and we'll make sure to remove the quotes from uh, from the string so we don't have them. Then we create a new instance with the first name last name that we got from the CSV file and put it into the people that we created earlier. We sort it and then we print it at last.